Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs and my name is Phyllis. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you how I will be covering my front door using peel and stick contact paper. And this contact paper is um, removable and repositional, meaning when you remove it, it won't tear your paint off. I am taking this route because um, when I was looking on Pinterest for ideas for my front door, and here it comes, my front door, um, I'm seeing a lot of black doors and I love them, but my only concern is my foyer is not big. It's long, um, it's not real long, but it has a nice length. It's just not wide and I'm concerned that the black would make it look like a little cave. So I'm taking this route to do this and it was difficult and it was long, but it came out so nice. So if you'd like to see how I took this route and how I applied it, then just keep watching. So here it is, I am covering my door instead of painting it with this peel and stick black contact paper. And it's the same contact paper that I put on the bottom of my kitchen cabinet and my island. And the way that I'm doing this, because of the, the detail that's in the middle that I know is going to be a challenge, I decided I would take this by sections. So looking at it really close, you see there's a section here, and then just right in the middle here, all the way down. And then what I'm covering here, I just, I have already cut out these three sections. I put this up here like three years ago to hang my wreaths and different things and I can't even take the thing down so I have to cut around it and then I'm going to later paint it um, by hand with something black and then probably change the inside of this um, later on, not now, but I wanted to see how this black would look because I'm going to eventually paint my walls white and I'm going to leave the trim white but I'm liking the black doors that I see and I will only do my front door. My other doors, like my garage door, I'm gonna leave white and my garage door and front door, of course, are the metal doors, interior or exterior doors um, and they are the same. As far as this, this is my closet door, my coat closet and my bathroom door, they are the same. I'm not touching those. I'm going to leave them um, white as well as leaving this white but the front door i'm going to cover in this black contact paper and this is just so i can get a visual to see if i like it and then if i like it and it lasts i'm gonna keep it up and if it doesn't last and i like the color then i know to take it down and just paint it so i wanted to share this with you all for say some apartment dwellers who can't paint their doors contact paper might be another way to go so I'm going to go ahead and finish covering this. so far I've done the two sides in the middle and I could not get that thing off so I had to trim around it but I'm going to get some paint to touch up as the same as the around the knobs I took it out some but I didn't take it all the way I could take it out but I don't have a screen door and I didn't want bugs flying in my house as well as the peephole so what I'm doing is you can see here uh, right here and it's on all of them I'm just cutting and butting right up to it and then cutting where the indention is. And then what I'm gonna do is get a whole piece to fit these pieces and then get the blow dryer and put it on a low warm setting and form it. And then I'll just cut 
I'm sorry, I'll just cut around in here because I have these extended. I haven't trimmed around the outer edges, as you can see. I haven't done that yet. But this is how I'm doing it, and it's taking a little bit of time because I'm trying to do it as a DIY thing that's temporary, just so I can see if I really would like to go with the black when I do paint my walls bright white. Like I said, I'm gonna put some, well, I didn't say it in this video, I said it in some other videos. I wanna do the picture rail trim molding and wallpaper and all. Um, but I'm just doing it as a temporary thing to see if I like it. And then this is also for renters. If you don't like your doors, well, um, peel and stick contact paper is certainly the way to go. Just as long as it's removable and repositional. Not something that it's peel and permanent because it can pull the paint off. And this is again an option um, as opposed to painting. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to cover this. And once I'm done, then I'll come back. Because again, as I've explained, I'm just cutting like this section. I have still have to cut a piece to go here. And I press it and then I just score it right in the indentions. And that's it, but I'm making sure I'm butting it up to it. I don't want to overlap because I don't want you to see the line. So I'm gonna finish it and then come back. Okay, I thought I'd show you all this one. So this is this one long piece here. And I put it to where it's going above, over, so I can score it so it can be even with the door. And I butted it up right up against this piece and then I used my, um, I don't know what you call this thing, <laughs> to just kind of press in here. And then I'm going to take the, sorry, let me get this out of the way. Ugh. Then I'm going to take the exacto knife and just score it. Take my time and just score it here. And pull. And then I will have this covered. So you won't, of course, all this is going to be covered. When I get done, then I will go in here and put a big piece in here and this square part and just use a blow dryer to conform to this. But right now I'm just getting, I'm just covering all the parts that are flat. I don't want to take a long strip and go across because you can see the difference of the pattern. The, the color varies. See how, because I got it laid this way, the part that I'm holding is darker than the part that's already laid down. So it's better to just lay it all the same way. But I just wanted to show you what I was doing. And now I'm going to do a piece here. And then what I'll do is come in and fill in a piece there. Okay. Alrighty. So this is what it looks like so far. And I've already scored the edges on the door. Up here. I've already scored all the way down and of course on the bottom and around the hardware as well as on top of the door. It's scored. So now, and of course you see this is not rough edge, but it's just the excess that I cut off. So once I cut the boxes, cut the pieces in, do the blow drying, that'll cause it to form. So that's the part that I'm not sure about if it's going to work, but we're gonna see. And I'm wondering this is, if this is a look that some people like, not me, not the two tone, it's not me trying to get it all solid um, but I'm liking that it's black so again I'm going to, with the peel and stick paper um, just to see what it looks like once I've completed my entire foyer I was just anxious and wanted to see it black so um, I'm liking it so now I'm going to go ahead and work on the boxes 
And this is taking a couple of hours. This is what I just did right here. I'm going to say it took me about an hour and a half, maybe two, or close to two hours, if not two hours. So let's get started on the boxes. Okay, so I wanted to share with you all, with me putting, covering this first panel, this is the issue that I knew I was going to run up on, and that is trying to go around these edges. You see how this point comes out, or this miter corner comes out? It becomes a pinch instead of following that. So what I'm going to try to do is just cover this um, like with each section that's easy to cut. Like this piece here, I'm just going to cut. Let's take a little square. <laughs> so I'm just going to cover this first and then I'm going to cover each of these sections so that means cutting this four times well cutting two sides in the top and then the bottom and then I'm going to cover this miter side this side front and top so that's one two and three so that's three six nine twelve pieces that I'm going to put together to look like one because when I did it with the blow dryer it was forming but when it comes to these edges this is what it does. Now I've never done this before, so we're gonna see if it works the way that I'm thinking of doing. But I'm going to leave that like that and then work on this side to compare, to see which was which is easier. But I am determined to get these panels covered to look decent and nice and presentable for when, you know, I look at my door, okay? Okay, I put the middle panel on. Kind of just curve a little bit all the way around and I kind of hit it with the blow dryer a little bit and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these four strips so I'm just going to lay a band up here to just cut um, miter and it's easier to cut the paper <laughs> than it is wood when you're doing mitering so I'm going to cut two pieces two long pieces to go on this side and then the two short pieces top and bottom then I'll come back okay so here's the one strip mitered to that and laying down nice and neat so this is what the strip looks like because I'm getting ready to do that side and then when I lay it down I just take my scissors and I follow the line and then I'm going to do this side and then I'm going to do the top and the bottom the same way and then I'm going to cover this I think this is the easier way to do it. I'm going to get my other strip down. Green. Yes. I'm going to strip it off. And What I do is I just pinch it to, and it actually, I pinch up. I'll bring it. So I'm going to let you all see here what I'm doing. Okay, so I am pressing the indention. See that line right there? And that's what I'm going to cut till I get up to the corner. Same down here at the bottom here. I'm pressing until I get an indention here so I can have something to follow to get to the corner. That's how I did this. And I'll do the same thing to the top. So I put the, I put the um, peel and stick paper here and I'm just pressing it down and forming. And what I'll do is I will, when I get done covering this, 
I'm gonna use a blow dryer, not too hot, because I noticed the hot will cause it, if it's on high, it'll cause it to begin to bubble. So I'm just doing it on a low temperature when I get done. But this way seems to be more easier than just trying to lay down a whole piece. What I'm going to do on this piece is I am going to use this here, but I'm going to trim, I'm going to trim around here and see if I can use some of that to fill it in. Okay, now I got those four strips in one, two, three, and four. Now it's just doing these four to lay down. And each time I lay them down, I'll put the low, you know, low setting on the dryer and just press my finger in to form, to take the form of the shape of the molding. So I'm going to do those four and it's the exact same thing. Just take a strip and I'm just going to follow. I'm going to pull up and follow this and I'm just going to let it overlap this a little bit so the edges won't look so rough. And that, it takes more time but it looks better than trying to do one big sheet. So here that one, <coughs> excuse me. So here's that one side completed going in sections and pieces. And it is easier, it's more time consuming to do it this way, but it's better than trying to put down one sheet. So I'm just going to cut out this, the rectangular part here and then just fill in the other parts. And here is a close up shot of it. And I have to press my finger in. And you can see here where I had to do a little piece filling because I cut it too. When I went to do the miter thing, I cut it um, slightly off angle. So, yes, it is in right in here too. I had to do that too. Oh, in here. So, yeah, when it got to the miter parts. But DIY covering my door with peel and stick contact paper. And like I said, once I get the paint and finish doing this here, um, once I get my foyer entry done, then I'll paint the door. But I just wanted to see what it looked like black because my foyer entry is not big. It's, it has decent length, but it's not wide and it's not that big. And I just wanted to make sure that the black door didn't make it look cavey even though I have decent light in here, I just didn't want it to look like a cave. And I like it. So I'm gonna finish doing the entire door since I let, since I showed piece by piece how I did that. I'm gonna finish the entire door and then come back and show you the completed um, reveal of the door being covered with uh, peel and stick contact paper. Almost done, just that. My back is burning. This took me hours hours I think I started this at noon and it is look after five I'm not sure but I like it I was so tired when I got done with this door I think I started like 12 o'clock or maybe one and I wasn't done until seven o'clock with this door but I'm so glad I'm done to the point I just had to sing a real quick song I made up a, a, about this here door. I'm glad I'm done. I am so glad that I am done with my front door. I am so glad that I am done with my front door. I started at noon, or was it at one? I don't even care, I'm glad it's done. I am so glad that I am done with my front door. <laughs> it was worth the work. I liked the way it turned out. But again, this was just so that I can see if I really wanted to paint the door black. So this is just my uh, temporary solution. And this was 
just so happened it's just extra paper that I had left over from um, doing my island and the bottom kitchen cabinets. That'll be an upload as well if it hasn't already uploaded. I've been loading up videos and just setting them to, to load. But I'm glad you all stopped by to watch. So I'm just about done. Okay, I'm done with the door. Looks pretty good for peel and stick contact paper first time. And again, this is just a temporary thing just to see if I would like a black door and I think I'm going to paint it black. But I also wanted to, you know, show you renters that if you can't paint your door and you want it a different color, order peel and stick removable and repositional peel and stick contact paper to change, excuse me, to change the look of your door. I like the way it came out. And some things are coming up, you know, see the indention right there. And right here is supposed to be indented. But for something temporary and with peel and stick contact paper, I like it. And again, here is the before of what my front door looked like and the after with the peel and stick contact paper. So I hope some of you are inspired, especially renters. Um, a flat panel door would be so much easier because you don't have to go around the different moldings and cut out. So I did enjoy this, even though it took me a long time, but I love the final result. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And please consider subscribing if you have not already done so. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching JRC Restoration, Decor and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day everyone. Bye bye.